Hey everyone, this is Sir Thakaos back with another video, and today we are back with Twin Stars, something that was highly requested um, from you. So um, we will now play the second scenario. So last time we played scenario one, Escape the Brig, and we actually managed to escape the Brig successfully. That was actually a pretty good game. And today's scenario will be will be will be called Confine the Quarks. All right, before we start, just um, a few things in advance. Um, first of all, please check if the um, Esperanto subtitle track is um, available. If it is, that means that um, I added some comments or, or corrections after uploading the video, so please activate that. And also, of course, I'm always happy for you supporting the channel, commenting, getting in touch with me on Twitter, or um, liking and subscribing. All right, and now we will start. So, um, let me just read out the story here. You look at each other skeptically before powering up the massive collider. Why are we doing this again? You ask, hesitantly. Your partner shrugs, but you know the answer. It's always the same with you two. Succeed and get paid, or fail and get vaporized. All right, confine the quarks. The discovery of the Pender Quark in the early 21st century shed some light on the conditions inside neutron stars. Now you are trying to create the hypothetical quark star and an even more dense state of matter. Alright, so our goal is to calibrate, test and experiment with your particle collider and capture five quarks to win. Lose if funding reaches zero dollars. Okay. So let me pull up the um, the card a little bit so we can just take a look at everything. Let me see if I can put that in focus. I think that should work. So you see here um, we have different combinations than the in the first scenario. Ah, also, I will not explain all the rules again. Um, if you're uncertain about the rules, I want to see how the story actually began. Just um, go back um, another video um, and look for the scenario one of Twin Stars. And you can watch that because I explain all the rules in detail at the beginning there. All right, so we have different um, different combinations here. We have calibrate. That means we can then experiment. Experimenting is what we want to do because, you see, experiment means roll the dice if doubles plus one token at the pinnacle quark. I usually, I have a tendency to roll very bad rolls, so it's possible that this will pose a big problem for me. Um, all right, and the precision track is down here. Um, the precision track doesn't really help us, uh, doesn't make us win, but we can have several perks here um, to to help us. So if we experiment, we can reroll one die, for example, if we are calibrated here. Um, then here we can use a five and a six if we roll both um, to get a million a million dollars back in funding. And here, that means that um, evens um, is plus one at the pentaquark, um, which isn't bad either. Okay, so, and then we have the other combination, that's test, increase the precision base value by one. We have two precision values. The upper one will be the base value, um, because it can't, the precision can't go lower than that, and this is our current precision. Um, then we have the next combination, um, we do a skill check, and if we fail it, we get minus one to current precision, and then we have the magnet quench. This means decrease funding by one and reset the precision to the base value. So the base value will, of course, never, um, never drop again. After any combo, you may experiment without calibrating. That means um, we can experiment. But if it fails, then we need to decrease the funding by 1 million, lose 1 heart or 1 energy. All right, so we lose if the funding reaches zero, and we win if we have five pentaquarks collected here. So this will be our goal. So I will put everything back in focus in a minute. Let me just present our protagonists. We have different ones this time. We have Stag Solar, a trigger-happy exohuman from the Rosa system. His special action is to um, to make Bood lose a heart, lose one health, and then he can increase his die instead of reducing it. 
Uh, because you remember, remember, we obviously need to re if we don't have a combo, we need to take back one dice, re one die, re-roll it, and the other one needs to be reduced. And there we can increase it. Um, and then he has some other instants here. Here he can he can gain a heart, and here he can um, um, if he wants to reduce the die here, the other character needs to lose a heart. Boot a rare blue blacker rec rescued from the year from wilds. Oh man. These words are wild. Special action. He can spend an energy or lose a health to reroll one or both dice. This will be our savior probably. This is what we will need. Um, and then he has an instant here. He can lose a health to reroll both dice up to X times. That depends on how much health he has. And then here he can either gain or lose hearts to manipulate the die um, one down or one or two up. All right. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the setup. Let me just um, put everything back in focus again. That should be fine. And then we can get started. So the white dice will be our skill dice. So I will put those just here. Put them aside. And these will be our regular, regular dice here. As you can see, um, I have my new dice tray in action here. So I'm very excited to finally be able to use it fully. All right. So let's get started. So let me just rearrange here. Oh, one more thing. So we can start with four energy if we want to play on easy. Last time we played on medium, but this is going to be a harder mission. So let's play on easy this time. Um, because I will, of course, want to try to win. If we lose now, well, then we lose. And we might still go to the next episode. Um, but it'd be good to win, actually. Ah, oh, come on. I'm really messing up everything now. So that should work now. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Six and one. All right. So we... Well, six and one isn't that great. We could either have one of these stars here. And I think that wouldn't be too bad to give him... To give him the six here. Um, because then um, we can just re-roll the one and reduce that one um, because if we put the six here we would have to reduce it to a five and that's not good we want to try to um, avoid the exclamation marks all right so um instant he could get a heart but what we will do now is reduce that die and reroll that one if we have a three that would be not too bad it's a three we are lucky so we can put that there now we have a five. Uh, we have two check marks, and that means we can increase the precision base value by one, and of course our regular precision too. So that base value will always stay there now, and that means um, every time we experiment, we can now re-roll one of the dice, and we can experiment now. If we can't, if we um, fail, then we have to decrease our funding, lose an energy or a heart. But we can now experiment because we had. A combo we would have to take both dice back anyway so let's experiment and hope we get a double we don't um, but we can reroll one when we experiment so um, let's just reroll any of these just the two okay that didn't work so we lose something um, let's lose one funding for now. I think that's still okay, but we shouldn't lose much more because we're at 4 million now. If we go down to zero, we will actually lose. All right, so let's roll again and hope we get something nice. Four and a one. So we could put a four here and use the instant. That might be actually an idea to do that. He will lose a heart. Should we do that? I think we can try. So um, we will put the four here and the one there. Um, so we can um, make him lose one health. And then we can increase that to a five. Okay. Five and three. That was actually a good idea because you see, we got two check marks again. We are really lucky. I played this. I played the scenario only once. Just I 
didn't fully play it, but I just tested it a little bit. Um, because I actually want to play it the first time with you guys. But um, I didn't have as much luck as I have now. So two check marks means we can t test again. That means we can in increase the precision base value by one. Um, and now if we have a five and a six, we can um, also increase our funding. We will, of course, experiment again. So let's hope for a double. No, we don't have a double. Mm, but we can reroll one when we experiment because these effects are cum cumulative. Cumulative. So um, let's just hope for another three. No, it's a two. Okay. Good. So we lose something again. Um, what do we lose? Let's lose. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to lose too much health here. Actually, if we assign him a one at some point, he can gain a heart back. Either that, or we can spend an energy to re-roll one or both dice. You know what, let's do that. Because we really need to get some quarks here. So let's spend one energy. I will take that out of the game. To re-roll one or both dice. I don't know. Both, I suppose. Okay, that didn't work either. Alright, stop playing around now. We will lose something. Let's make him lose a heart. And continue. Four and five. Okay. Uh, that's not too great. Um, let's put the four here and the five there. And then we will just reduce. Oh, no. If we do that. No, no, no. If we do that, we have... Well, it doesn't really matter. Because um, this combination, four and five, you see, like... An, uh, the check mark and the the exclamation mark and you see and um, we would have to do a skill check and if we fail that we would get minus one to current precision but that doesn't matter because the current precision already is at the base value it can't go lower so it doesn't matter if we fail this, this skill check or not so let's just keep it like this because i would like to reduce that die here and reroll that one and hope for a five it's a one uh-oh because, you, you see, um, we have the same issue again, but it's okay. We we will just leave the skill check out because we can't reduce our current position anyway. So whatever. Um, but we need to reroll that one because it's, it's the lowest. And if we need, want to reduce that one, he will lose a health. But I guess that's something we just need to do. So reduce that to a 2. And then maybe hope for a 6 now because then we would have our first penequark. Pen that's a one. We don't want a one. Well, hmm. I don't know what we should do here. We could spend an energy to reroll the die. But, well, hmm. Yeah. Let's let's try to reroll the die. Let's just try it. Maybe it's not the best idea because I'm spending all the energy already, but let's hope for a six. It's a two. Nah. Okay. Well, then whatever. Put the two there. Um, then we will, I don't know, reduce that die and roll again. That's a four. So we have an instant here. Um, if we give him back a heart, we can go... We have to reduce it to a 3, but then he would get, get back a heart, which wouldn't be too bad. Um, but then we would decrease our funding by 1. Right there, you see? Decrease funding by 1. And reset precision to the base value. Doesn't matter, it's already at the base value. Well, let's do that. Let's increase that to a 5. So he can gain back one heart, and we will reroll that one. But we need to decrease the funding once. Small thing in between. Um, I th I'm pretty sure that the rules are all all correct here. But um, the problem with twin stars, although it's it's a fun idea and very very compact, 
compact, I mean, but the, the, the issue is that everything you have as rules are on these small cards and it's all not very clear. So um, as you usually do, you can let me know if there are any rules that I'm not playing quite correctly for the next episode, but I think it's all as correct as can be because there is actually nothing pretty much in the internet you can find about this game otherwise. So yeah, just as a little disclaimer. All right, we have a star. So that's a star and a check mark. That doesn't help us a whole lot. Uh, I would really like to reroll that die. Well, we could reroll that die. Why not? Let him lose the health. Then reroll this die here. You know, let's do that. That's a special action. Six, come on. Do it. It's a two. Well, all right. Um, we will not let him lose anything else. So we will reduce that to a one and then roll that one again. It's a five. Okay, so we would have to do a skill check to reduce the current precision again, but that's nothing we will do. All right, before we continue, we will do an experiment. We will experiment again. And let's hope for a double. Come on. It's a four and a two. Then we can re-roll. Oh no, we cannot re-roll. I think. Oh no, I, I I did it wrong. We can only. We cannot re-roll one die. We can re-roll a one. So if we roll a one, so we can't actually re-roll now. That was something I I think I did wrong. Okay. So, but that didn't matter because I mean I'm rolling pretty much crap all the time anyway. Um. So. Huh. Lose one more heart. Either lose one more heart or lose an energy because funding is going to be a little bit critical now. Let's lose one more health. Let's no, actually, let's lose the energy because energy and health are pretty much synonymous. Either also for the skill here, so let's keep at the good. Let's keep good health for now. Three and six. So we will put the six here and the three over there. Mm, okay. So we would reroll that one probably and we would reduce that die. I think that's what we would do. Do we reroll anything? I don't think so. I will be a little bit careful now. So let's reduce that one. And reroll this one, hope for a three maybe. It's a one. All right, so let's put the one there. Um, but we will get an instant heart. Here you see, instant. We can use that, so he's back at full health. And then we will just, hmm. Yeah, well, we will have to reduce, reduce that die. Oh, no, no, we don't. We have a combination here. Um, skill check we don't need to do because our current precision is at the base level already, but we will experiment. Double, come on. Not a double. But here, that's a one. I can re-roll that one. So now I'm doing it correctly. Six and four. Again, nothing. Well, then we will lose one energy again. That's the last energy we can lose. Okay, let's continue. It doesn't really look good because we haven't... Now I get a double. You must be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, seriously. Okay. So let's put a two there and a two there. Um I will actually spend one health here to reroll that die. I hope I can get a star. A six, come on. Yes! Perfect. Finally. So now we can um we can increase our precision by one. And we can experiment too. And this time we don't have any issues. If we don't, if the experimentation is isn't working, so then we don't lose anything. So let's see. Is it a double? No, it's not. It's a six and a one. And we can't really reroll anything because he's at, on the brink of death. So that didn't work. Okay, let's continue. Four and one. Well, 
we would give him the four and oh no no we can't because then we would decrease funding and reset the precision to the base value so we will have to do it the other way around like this then nothing bad happens um i would actually but he needs some health right he does need some health again so I think what I'm going to do, it's going to be a little bit risky because we don't have a whole lot of funding. But I will increase his die so that... He, no, wait. Uh, I mean not decrease. I mean decrease. Decrease his die by one and then he gets health back. But then we have these two exclamation marks. So um, we will decrease our funding by one and reset the precision to the base value again. Okay. Wonderful, or not that wonderful, actually. Um, do we experiment? Yes, we experiment one more time. Let's hope we get a double. We actually don't. Hmm. Well, then we lose a heart again. Okay. Two and three. There isn't a whole lot we can do there. Um, let's give him... Uh, well, we can't reduce that die then. Well, then let's do it just the other way, like this, two and three. Um, and then we will reduce this die and reroll that one. Two and three. Um, and then, yeah, let's reduce that one and reroll this one. One and six. Okay. Well, yeah, we're kind of in a loop where we can't do anything because we don't have a lot of health, and we don't have um, and we don't have any funding anymore. I think we should use his special action more often. But he, yeah, well, but he can't lose health all the time. Well, let's see. I reduce that one, yeah. So let's reroll this one. Five. This would be the skill check again, but our position is at the base, is at the base, base value anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So then we will reduce that one there and reroll that one. Yeah, we're kind of in a loop at the moment, as you can see. Same thing again. Let's reduce that one and reroll this one. We don't really get anything worthwhile. Okay, now. We actually got the bad, the bad event. So we need to decrease the funding by one. And the precision already is at the base value. Um, and actually, we will experiment again. Double? No double. Well, then we will lose something. Let's him lose a heart because with a one we can get the heart back. Five and two. That's not, that's nothing too great, but 2.5, like this probably. And then let's reduce his die and reroll that one. 3. And yeah, then we will reroll that one again. It's a 1. Oh, I should have reduced the one before. Like this. All right. So first of all, instant he gets a heart back, and now you see we have two estimation marks here. Um, so we need to decrease our funding, and that's it. That's actually it. Um, we didn't make it, and we didn't collect one pentaquark. That's pretty bad, actually. So what went wrong? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but the problem is that we can only get pentaquarks by experimenting and getting a double. And I didn't get one double once, I think, right? Yeah, I didn't get one double. Um, you can manipulate your dice. The problem is um, that you lose health and energy for pretty much everything. Every time you experiment, you lose health or energy if you don't get doubles. And you can mitigate that somehow. When you get a one here, he can get a heart back, but he only has two, 
right? So you can only make him lose one heart, and then that's pretty much it. Um, and he can get hearts back pretty badly. So you only, you, I mean, you see, one thing is, if I reduce the die now to a 1, I cannot use the instant. The instant can only be used if I roll the dice, and, oh, there you go, and have a 1, and put the 1 there. And then I can only use the instant. Same thing here. So they actually getting back health for them is not too easy. Because he, if he uses an, his instance, then he always has to go to the exclamation mark here. And as soon as I roll a 1, 4, or 5 here, that's a 50% chance, then I decrease my funding. You see the issue? So this is pretty tough here. Um, so I didn't win, unfortunately. And the videos are still gone on for about half an hour. Now you know how to play the game. Um, please let me know in the comments the following. Would you like to watch another playthrough and hope that we win that time? Maybe you have some ideas how we can optimize the play. Um, or should I just continue to scenario three? Um, because I'm not that proud that I will record this now five more times. Um, just to upload a perfect win because I mean that's a realistic play here um, And although I didn't win you still saw how the game is played Let me know in the comments what you would prefer and otherwise thank you very much for sticking around if you're still watching the video And then I will see you next time. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye